Buzz, uh, good evening, good morning, and uh, good afternoon wherever you are. My name is Moses from M and M Kenya TV, and today we are going to bring for you a uh, a nice video that you have been waiting for since I promised you about this last week. I'm very happy because it's a nice day and it's a great day. Karibu ni sana watu wangu. And let's uh, meet our best friend here, very courageous woman, or a lady, strong, charming, and ever happy. Even though I don't know why she can't smile with us right now. Say hi to our team. Hi. Yes. Stay tuned, like, say, and subscribe to the, the channel. And if you know you are new in this channel, take a minute, subscribe, like, and share. Now I'm going to give a chance to uh, one of our best friends. He's a TikToker, he's a dancer, <laughs> he's a teacher. She has a lot and she'll tell us most of the things. So most welcome, Madam Sarah. Thank you so much. Okay, by name I'm Cheryl Akoth Duncan. Or you can call me Ashe. Yeah, so Cheryl Duncan was born in 2002 during the process of birth <laughs> oh you are just right continue oh you are allowed to speak you can uh, do it in kiswahili in or, kiswahili, English as or i can mix them you can you are feel free okay so i was born due to prolonged birth prolonged labor yeah so due to that i there was like first time see the problem like i just went home then after a few months two months i guess yeah the the doctor said i have something like femur femur hemimelia like the problem with the femur if you know the femur bone the femur bone you can relate yeah so so the doctor said that operation is needed for me to for them to nini, correct correct the mistake apoko fema so operation was done but it never went successful and so they decided to amputate like they decided to cut off their legs yeah that's where my journey now started without legs wow it's a nice story it's a sad story we can't say it's bad because all things are God's plan. Madam, another jina ni ile ya Ashe. Ashe. I will my Ashe. Sharon. Cheryl. Cheryl. Ah, it's okay. Anyway, guys, that's the story. We are going to talk and we are going to discuss more. And she will be telling us from that time up to now what has been happening and why are we here today let's cheers, cheers. <laughs> how is it it's nice it's nice that's how life will be on your side nice all the time happy and sweet you'll enjoy this my first question you have said it was it like something uh, that it, it happened by birth, right? Yeah, from the first stage up to now. How have you been? It has not been easy. I've just been managing. How do you cope in with everything that you are doing? In your primary level, imekuaje? Adi ukamaliza, uka join secondary. Did you were you in a private school dealing with this, or you just went in a, to a normal school that act like others, or how is it? Okay, let me start from uh, nursery. Nursery, I went to a normal school like other kids. Yeah, the journey was nice. I just felt good like a normal kid. So one minute, let me ask this. You mean? You during your um what do we say uh, nursery school you had your legs no okay 
Yeah, I was amputated at nine months. Oh wow. Yeah, so during my nursery school, I never had the uh, legs. Yeah, so I, I was just walking like this with in fours. You know what I mean? Like I know, in I know, fours. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I was walking in fours. Then primary, I was al- also walking in fours until I reached class five, where I met a good Samaritan who introduced us to prosthetics. Yes. Yeah, now I started using the prosthetics. Yeah, they are just the same like the ones I'm using right now. Yeah, they are, they are given free. They are not that nini expensive. So I've been using that one until I I finished my primary school, then joined high school. High school too, I, I never faced that much challenge you while well, gonna provide kila kitu like i had i had my own room my own bathroom like food was being brought to me by the prefects like everything was just good yeah why were they doing all this uh kuna mtu mwenye alikusimamia wakawaambia kindly give her special treatment or they just say no the girl needs special treatment so uh, how was it you know unaza ingia mahali ukae one week one month two months three months wamechoka waseme no let it be so how was it like i had friends who used to serve for me food like for bathroom and uh, the dorm was just the principal just told the matron to provide a room and the bathroom for me private one that is private yeah okay that's so nice there's something i would like to ask saron and sir sorry for that wow sir how did you when when you realized this you know there's a time you realized about that you don't have your legs how was it how did you catch up or how did you get because you know many people are there unapata mtu amepata accident leo the following day anakatwa mguu na anasema no let me die my say my say so how did you adapt this how did you take it how did you up to now how yani imekwaje ili ilikwaje for the first expression and who told you about this okay when you know me i was amputated when i was nine months exactly so i've grown like this i've known like there's no difference until i reached form 2 Yeah. yeah so so in form 2 some some girl just called me and asked me like are you just like you're just no more like this like you don't feel anything you don't have legs like I'll feel anything hapo ndo ika ring kwa mind nikaanza kuji nini like hi kwa ni sinanga mguu while in form 2 yeah what do you mean that's why i realized let me ask you something do you uh, is your mom and dad there No. Sorry I, I for that. You have a dad. Yeah. Sorry for that. Let's forget about this but just take out keep on being strong. So you mean uh no one told you about this from your parents? Like it did, it didn't ring like I just knew I da- I had no ring legs but it didn't ring like to a point that I had to compare myself with others. During the childhood you were just playing like other kids like who are playing with yeah. their with their leg and whatever. Yeah. You're such a strong strong lady. I wish you could be like this 100 people in Kenya then we could have been somewhere. Director is there any problem? I'm okay. So you have reached high school. You have only dad yende anachukulikia kila kitu ukiwa nyumbani we are now here what are you doing in nairobi okay i'm a student at kca university government sponsored i'm studying bachelor of education in education arts yeah i'm a student so i'm talking with the teacher yeah you are talking with the teacher <laughs> by professor eh? <laughs> Can you adjust? <laughs> Guys the story is so nice and you know wakati niliingia nilipata sasa akiwa very dull and I was wondering how but there's a friend we'll call him here a very very good guy 
and uh, you will be blessed much bro college life imekuwa aje up to now you are in second year yeah okay college life is where i got the more challenges like this is a new school like you have to own your own house like there's there are no hostels around so i preferred to look for a house like to to find friends was also not that easy yes yeah so I, when i when i was joining uh, like by the way i joined alone i i came and registered alone what do you, do you mean you came from home to nairobi to thika yeah alone alone why oh i <coughs> my aunt came to pick me up with a car yeah or public means private public private okay yeah so after that he referred me to my friend where we stayed yes with her alafu ndo tuka yeye ndo tulienda na yeye kuregister shule wow you are very strong in fact hapo nakwambia sasa ikifika hivyo nasema no dad acha ikae let me let me be because you know with this state upande gari na hii process ya Nairobi yote hadi ufike day one. how what is, was the treatment in day one? during the registration in school registration registration i i had no problems because there was a guy who came akaniambia tu niende tu street nisipange line sasa wewe ulikuwa unatembea tu you had the, the how do you call them prosthetics yeah you had them by that yeah okay wow i think you are getting the story how it flows and madam Cyril has been a strong woman since then and now she's studying education right yeah uh which language computer history computer history yeah. nataka niwaombe kitu moja guys if you want if you have opportunity to give out please we have a teacher here i know you have a school there you have a student that might be in need of a tuition something like that we have a teacher here by profession a very nice one someone that can be trusted with eh? with your child <laughs> <laughs> yeah mambo ni mengi by the way vile wanasemanga lakini from here i don't know the area you said you are in hapa ni ngomongo village as we speak we are in gomongo village but if you have uh, you need a tuition for your kids you need a tuition for your uh, pupil son or a daughter or you can dm her we are going to give all the social media handles for belongs to her, belongs to her down there on our link down please feel free to reach her sir there's something remaining i want us to clear because then we finalize with the story So you are in school now going on with life. How is it hapa kwako? How do you survive? Rafiki wako naona I don't know analala analala huku mnakaa na yeye ama kuna time anatoka sana arudi. Ah halali huku. Halali huku. So how do you how do you